friends, welcome to the Nesh Miglani Tutorials. This is another session of Cluster Vocabulary. And uh, in the last session, we discussed words related to monetary uh, or monetary terms, words related to money. And we also looked in that session that uh, what are words related to extra spending or overspending, which we call spend thrift also. In this session, this is a continual session of that earlier one. Uh, here we are going to do the words which are related to misery folks. Misery folk means people who don't uh, spend money a lot. People who are uh, miser. Miser means people who don't uh, like waste money or are not willing to spend money. This can be negative also, it can be positive also. Such people can be also called like they are a uh, saving person, they don't uh, spend money unnecessarily. Such people are also called miser. Miser is a negative word. Miser means they don't, uh, they are like uh, very mingy. They don't want to uh, spend money even when required also. They will rather stay or they will rather be a pain instead of uh, spending money. Such kind of people are miser. So this kind of term can be used for both, uh, for positive also, for negative also. Let us discuss them one by one. First one, austere. Uh, Hitler, Mr. Hitler, Hitler there. Austere is very strict in uh, attitude, a very strict attitude of something. This is a very important word we are doing with this, is ascetic. We did this word in early session, I'll repeat it here again. Ascetic. Ascetic means a self-disciplined person. A person who is extremely disciplined like army people. We say they are ascetic. They are very disciplined, very self-disciplined. They live themselves also in discipline and expect the same with the others. So they are ascetic people. Such people are also called aloof. Now aloof can be used in different ways. Aloof means a person who is extremely cold. Cold means he is not affected by anything. Such kind of a person is an aloof person or a cool person. Ascetic, self-disciplined. Such people who are austere. So you see these words associated with this. Synonym, unemotional, harsh or frosty. Frosty is a cold person, a frost. We see, no? Uh, ice is frost or the fridge, uh, fridge is at frost mode. So it means extremely cold, unaffected or extremely uh, uh, like uh, not emotional you see. So aloof and frosty they are synonym. Opposite will be meek. Meek is a gentle person. Meek is somebody who is gentle and uh, elaborate or gentle you see. Lacking personal touches, the couple's formal living room was very, was quite austere, right? Next, frugal. Frugal means, you say savings. Saving means a person who is having regard for money, no? A person who respects money or who does not uh, like spend money uh, a lot. Such people who are sparing or economical as regards money or food, anything. Like generally, there are a number of people, like my father even, he always keeps on saying, don't waste food. You should eat only like uh, how much you want to. Don't like fill your plate and then leave it. So uh, such kind of a thing, uh, such kind of a manner is a frugal manner. And this is, a, of course, we should do it because we should not waste uh, uh, food. You might have seen number of ads also and campaigns also which are being running to uh, like uh, to enlighten people that wastage of food or wastage of any resource is not good at all. Like generally what we do, we keep our uh, lights open, we keep a uh, fan uh, like uh, on all the time, even if when it is not required, when you leave the place, you should put it off, switch it off and then go. Na? This kind of a behavior, when you save such kind of things, as any resource or especially for money or food, that kind of attitude is a frugal attitude. You are an economical person. You don't want to waste it. You are not miser. Remember this thing. Miser means you don't, you like every, you are not mingy. You don't want to spend money everywhere. Yes, but you are sensible in spending. This is what frugal means. Sensible, saving, stingy. Stingy is a negative one of this. Stingy are also penurious. We did this word. Penurious. 
penurious. It is O is not there. P E N U R I O U S. Penurious. Stingy are also penurious. Opposite, wasteful, lavish, spendthrifty. Stop being so frugal and just buy me a real gold necklace. All wives they keep on saying this to her, their husbands. And the husbands they never listen. Uh, okay. Next, parsimonious. Parsimonious, just I discussed this word minji. M I N G Y. Minji. I don't know whether the Hindi word uh, munji is related to this or not. It came from this. Anyway, minji means a person who don't want to spend money, who is very uh, like uh, uh, strict with the spending of uh, money. Let us see, very unwilling to spend money or use resources. Who don't want to, like number of people, they keep it saving. Like uh, suppose if I have a, a new torch or a new battery or anything, anything. So I'll say, no, I'm not going to use it. I'll keep it for afterwards. I'll keep it for afterwards. Such kind of a behavior is parsimonious behavior. I don't want to use it. I'm not willing to use it actually. Nigardly. Nigardly is miser. Nigardly is miser. Close fisted. You keep your fist closed always. You don't want to open it, means you don't want to spend. Cheese pairing. Cheese pairing is mean with money. Mean with money. It is an expression. It's an idiom actually. Um, it is a person who is very mean with money. Such kind of people are called cheese pairing. Opposite, liberal, lavish, generous. To save money, the parsimonious old man always bought used clothes. How stingy it is. Next, provident. You remember economic, uh, this is an economic term. People uh, use it, provident fund and all that. Making or indicative of timely preparation for the uh, future. People who are uh, like, Cautious with their uh, spendation. Uh, people who are very much thoughtful that where to spend and how to spend and how much to spend. This kind of a behavior is a provident behavior. That is why it is called provident fund. Where you uh, save money for your future. Where you invest money for your future. That is provident fund actually. Yeah? So it is shrewd. Shrewd is a clever thinking or a clever way. It is clever. Cautious, far-sighted, opposite, spendthrift, wasteful, improvident. No need to explain this. Provident fund accounts are treated as trust. Yes, of course, because they are for your future, no? Scrooge, a mean or miserly person. Miser, we did this word earlier also. Uh, mean person, mean with money. So we did another word, cheese pairing. Such kind of people are uh, Scrooge. A cheese pairing person is a Scrooge person. Look, uh, look at the synonyms. Misanthrope. We discussed this word in earlier session. Misanthrope is a person who hates mankind. Miser. Don't want to spend money. Penny pincher. Penny pincher is picking even single money out of like uh, if a person he finds even a 50 pesa coin or a 10 pesa coin, he'll pick it up and keep it, uh, keep it with him. Such kind of a person is penny pinch, penny pincher, sorry. Opposite, spender. Spender is a person throwing uh, things all over, or money especially. It is related to money all over. If you have seen the movie Doom 3 of Amir Khan, you might remember the scene uh, uh, where Amir Khan, uh, whenever he like, steals, he robs the bank, he throws money all over. That uh, action is called spender. Such a type of person is called spender. Waster or prodigal. So what is an uh, example? Let us see. Many rich people are screwed. People are miser when they are rich. Let us see. Next is skin flint. Skin flint is again a person who spends little money as possible, as uh, much as possible. I mean, not uh, uh, like always try to avoid to spend money, no? So, such people are many. Many is a mean person. 
is a mean person. Uh, uh, another one, tight pad. A tight pad is a miser person. We did this word miser. Pinch penny, we did this again. Penny pincher and pinch penny are same. Opposite, prof, uh, profligate. Profligate, we did this word in uh, spend thrift uh, slide. You can uh, refer it there. Spender, spend thrift. Old hat is a mean skin flint and wouldn't pay me half what I was worth. Stingy. Stingy is a, a person who is mean and ungenerous, who don't like, uh, who don't even want to share, or who don't even want to tell, uh, let people know that he or she has some money with her. She is parsimonious, cheese bearing, extravagant, copious, and ample. Copious and ample means people who are ready to help others in monetary terms. Or ample is person uh, who likes to uh, help other or sp uh, spend money. You see, how he doesn't want waste his property and neither he is a stingy man. I hope these words are done and uh, clear to you enough. These are words related to monetary terms which people who don't want to spend money. Other monetary terms we did in the earlier session, you can refer there. And uh, we'll continue this session uh, with another cluster after this. Take care. Till then, have a nice day.